Hello there guys and welcome to this virtual walk round of our mountain grey metallic GLA formatic. Now as you'll be more than aware the GLA is the perfect crossover between A class and C class. It's very similar to the old R class but it's not quite as big. It is great for families, it's great for those looking for a little bit more room against a standard hatchback but not the size of a luxurious saloon. So what that does entail is a bit more legroom, a bit nicer looks, and it's got that real premium AMG styling as well. So let me tell you everything about this car and why you should definitely consider getting in touch with us to have it on your drive within 24 hours. So starting off, you can see that gorgeous mountain grey metallic really doing its thing, even in the uh, quite choice weather that we've got here at HQ today. And alongside that, you've got the Bison on headlights, which is noted just there, and you've got your LED daytime runners. Moving down, you can see you've got your front parking distance control, and you've also got your real nice slatted honeycomb grill just on there too. You've of course got the night pack on this one, so that means you've got black door surround, you've got the gloss black styling on the front, you've got the gloss black diamond cut alloys, mirror surrounds, and the panoramic roof. So you can see just on the grill, you've got the real nice big chrome tri-star, the gloss black and chrome inserts, gloss black front splitter, and it carries on with its gorgeous sweeping body lines. Now, moving down here as well, you can also see that you've got your gorgeous, really nice, really sturdy alloy wheels here. And they are, of course, the 19 inch, five AMG spoke diamond cut and gloss black alloys. You've also got your gloss black color pack just behind. And moving up again, as part of the night pack, you can see you've got your electric folding mirrors, which are in black gloss, and you've got your running boards just down the bottom here, or your AMG sports styling, which give it a real nice dynamic look against many others on the road. Up top, you have of course got your night pack, you've got your A pillars here, you've got your window surrounding gloss black, you've got gloss black B pillars, tinted gloss black windows, and of course you've got your electrically operated panoramic sunroof as well. And moving around you can see that the car's in real good order, no dinks, no marks, no dents, no bodywork out of place, it's just a really, really well looked after example from its previous owner. Moving down, we'll start the rear. You can see you've got your rear parking distance control. You've got your gloss black diffuser with your twin chrome dual exit exhaust, honeycomb grill. You've got your chrome just on the boot lid to stop your paint getting damaged. And you've got nice little AMG touches like the venting systems here. You've got your LED rear lights. And of course, you've got your chrome styling with your Formatic, which is of course four wheel drive system badging just on the back here. Now also as part of the AMG pack, you have got your gloss black roof bars and you've also got your lip spoiler here with a built-in high level bright light. Opening up the electronic tailgate, you can see it gives you quite a nice bit of room in there. It's not as big as many people would think because this often gets confused with an SUV, but it isn't, it's a crossover, which means it's a hybrid between both hatchback and SUV. Very similar in fact to the Nissan Juke, it is a lot bigger in terms of space and it's a lot better designed. But the boot on this going off subject is of course big enough for your everyday shopping, your groceries. You could potentially get a long stroller in diagonally but you would have to try that out when you come down to HQ. Now under here you have got further storage, as you can see now you've got a tow bar, you've also got the tyre kit and you've got your accessories and locking wheel nuts too. Now in here you can of course pull this through, which it's easy for me to say but I can't do, and that of course just gives you a little bit of extra room here and you've got lowered through which allows you to look into the cabin and if you've got golf clubs or anything of that nature put it through there. Now to shut the boot it is again electronic. Click that down and that will automatically lower itself ready for where it needs to be. Now moving around you can see again, second dual exhaust on there, the nice chrome, gorgeous titanium with the alloys there, the gloss black and silver. You can just see it's just a really, really nice looking car. The colour contrast between the mountain grey metallic and the black is one that really, really works well. And in terms of modern day aesthetics, grey and black is absolutely everywhere at the minute. So not only is this car good looking, it's totally, totally relevant in today's market. But 
don't let that do everything for you let me show you inside what other features it has to offer you as its potential new owner so the GLA is keyless entry as you can see and you are greeted by the standard gorgeous bespoke as you would expect contrast red stitching on the black leather with the black and aluminium styling it's a really nice luxurious interior really does personify the mercedes essence of sport performance luxury and total total comfort you've of course got the nice sport seat in here with the nice bolsters and you have got the red perforated leather with the red contrast stitching all the way across real real good looking bit of seating and you can see on there you've also got the leg extenders as well for those really long journeys and you've also got electronic lumbar support and if I switch over to the door card, you can see they're also electronically adjustable with memory seating as well, just there. You've got your deadlocks, and on that door card, you've got the half leather with the red stitching, which is, of course, your folding mirrors. You've got your electrically adjustable mirrors, and you've got your electric windows and remote boot release as well. Standard Mercedes-Benz sound system, no harm and Carden. And you can see on here, you've got the illuminated door inlay as well. You've got the stainless steel sports pedals, and moving in you've got your push button start your handbrake you've got your lighting and you've got your fog lighting too now before we get too stuck into the front we're going to just show you in the back and you can see that load through is already down but it does turn into an armrest for the passengers in the rear they've also got the real nice sports seating with the red contrast stitching red contrast perforated leather and the red seat belts you've also got ice fix and i'm sure you'll agree quite a lot of leg room for rear passengers so it looks good, it looks really good, it's very practical. And now I'm gonna show you the technology. So you get into the car, of course, and the first thing you see from the driver's perspective is of course the instrument cluster and the steering wheel. Instrument cluster first, you have of course got the old school white dials, which I say on every video that's got them, I absolutely love them. There's something about white dials that just makes it that little bit more nostalgic and old school that to me is what a performance car really used to symbolize but now they've put it in a gla so you get the best of both worlds got a digital display just up top and you've got one in the middle as well just there which is of course your information so we'll turn the gla on and you can see no problem starting no delay no hesitation fires up first time and there's no warning lights on the dash your illuminated cluster looks nice and you have of course got the grey edgy now once it's on inside the clocks and you've also got your red needles as well so moving down from that you have of course got your one stalk here which is your lights and your wipers on one set stalk just makes it easier and that's because this one is your gearbox so again as i say in every mercedes video do not use this whilst you're driving by accident when you're driving down the motorway and press it upwards to think you're indicating or upwards to think you're putting your wipers on because you will end up with a very big invoice and a very expensive bill at the end of it. You've also, as you can see, got these little gizmos here, which are paddle shift, which basically give you the optimum performance when driving. And you can flick into them at any time. Click down on the left hand side to change your gears down. Click up to change your gears up. Just gives you total control of your gear changes and allows you to make maximum progress and have optimum performance. Now moving down, the buttons on the left hand side of the steering wheel here are of course your instrument cluster display. So what you can do on here, you can see we're on the trip computer now. You can go from that, you can click on your range, eco display, you can get on your average miles per gallon, you can click on it from your reset and you can get your digital speedometer. Well, if you click the across button here you can also click on your navigation which brings you up on the road you're on your direction of travel and of course any instructions you need to follow you've got your audio whether it be your radio whether it be your cd whether it be your bluetooth any of that nature it will come up on there you've also got your telephone which is of course your bluetooth telephone and you've got your assistance here so if you go on the assistance graphic brings up your speed limit display just there and it also brings up a virtual road in which it'll tell you if any obstacles or instructions that you need to follow you've also got traffic sign assist which you can turn on and off and you've also got electronic stability program too otherwise known as traction control got collision prevention assist attention assist now the attention assist is quite good what you can do on there you can click ok and you can change it to standard sensitive or turn it off 
Basically what that'll do, that will automatically measure how long the car's been driving for, for a prolonged period of time. And if it feels you need to head to the nearest Costa or Greg's or service station to take a break, take a nap, get a coffee or take a whiz, it will let you know and it will give you your heads up that now is a good time for resting. You've also got your messages here, so that's not text messages. That is if you had no fuel, if your door was open, if you had any issues with DPF for argument's sake, or your tyre pressures were low, that's where it would display it there. You've also got your tyre pressures there, which you can measure at any time when you're driving. And the most important one, Assist Plus. If you click in there, it tells you which service is next to you and when it is. And as you can see, that one isn't due for just under a year. Now what you can also get on there as well, if you go right to the end, is you can click on settings, you can change your instrument cluster display on there, you can change your different lights, so your DRLs, you can also change some of your vehicle settings such as your speed limit for winter tyres, your automatic door locking, you can change your acoustic locking when it does it so it makes a noise. Some people don't have that on because it obviously tells criminals when a door is locked, meaning they're more able to come and get your car. You've also got convenience, so you've got your auto folding door mirrors and you've also got the option there to restore everything to your factory setting. So that sums that up quite easily. Moving around, you can see that gorgeous brushed aluminium trim just in there, which leads effortlessly into the real nice pearl black and chrome air vents and they lead gorgeously into the chrome accessorised door cards as well. Well, on there you can see you've got your media tablet. Now this isn't touch screen, it does look like an iPad, but it doesn't work the same as one. But on there you have of course got your control down here which uses it and you've got your navigation so you can click on all your different options here. Travel guide, compass, you've got your information or you can click onto navigation itself. Now what I prefer to do is go through all the menu so you can see if you click on it again, you can click on there and it brings up all your navy info. But for us, we're going to click on the radio and you can see on here you've got FM and what other options do you have? If you click on wave band, you'll see you've got FM and AM only. No DAB on this option. Now what you can also do is click on the media and this will bring up all the different options you have, which is of course your USB and your Bluetooth audio as well. If you click on devices, that will allow you to see that you've got your two USBs and you've also got your SD card, your CD, and your hard drive as well. Now clicking on telephone, you can see on there, all you need to do is click connect device, and you're ready to be talking on the go through the system, totally hands-free. And you've also got vehicle settings here, so if you click on that, you are able to change your locator illumination, your interior and exterior delayed lighting shut-off, your ambient lighting brightness, and your ambient lighting colour. So you do have quite a few different options on this, but for us, it's emerald green, baby, all the time. You've also got your interior welcome light, and that finishes up the options on vehicle settings. You can go on dynamic select, and you can individually configure the one option, classed as I. So this is obviously your own driving mode. So you can click on this one, and what you'll see, you can have it as sport on the engine, you can have it on sport steering, you can also have the eco start stop excuse me on or off for me i would have it off and i would have the air con and the climate control on eco and that means you are totally set up now ready for optimum driving you can click on vehicle data and what that will do is that will give you your eco display what driving mode you're in and it'll tell you the rotation in degrees of your steering and other real neat features you can also click on engine data and that will bring up a real nice graphic of your battery charge it will bring up your temperature and it will bring up your horsepower and newton meters of torque as well one for the dads that have said that this is a car that's just a little bit quick bab but it'll fit the kids in too then of course click on to the system settings and what you're able to do is click on favorites language display linguatronic so that is obviously your voice control text reader speed rear view camera which you can obviously have on or off as soon as you put your reverse gearing or you can open the camera cover as well you've also got your wi-fi and you activate your bluetooth there as well that really is everything on the media system now on the dash you can see it's also encasing that lovely black leather with a red contrast stitching again many of the cars these days are just cheap black plastic 
but not a Mercedes. They really do go all out to ensure that the car that you buy from them is absolutely loaded and packed with almost every single option that you would like, and it retains the essence of comfort and luxury. Moving down, you've got your venting system, and moving further down from that, you can see you've got your SD card facility here, and you've got your media system from just up there, but in old school touch button format. You can dial phone numbers or change CD tracks on here too. And here you've got your heated seats for the passenger and the driver. You've also got your vehicle status just there, so you can get a good up to date of what mode you're in. And you've got your dynamic select, which is drive select here, which of course you can press and change, which comes on both the instrument cluster and the media control system as well, just here. Now this does have this mode, which I do want to touch on very briefly. And it is of course off-road now because this gla is a formatic that does mean that it has four-wheel drive thus allowing you total reassurance that even if you were traveling off-road or difficult conditions difficult substrates adverse weather you're more than able to still remain driving without any issues and any delay in getting to your destination it tells you on there your incline it tells you the terrain and it gives you again your turning circle as well well, what's really handy with this is it shows you how the wheels are working which ones are driving and it just gives you again that total reassurance that you're not going to get stuck especially in the real hard winter months when most mercedes are stuck on the road moving down here you've got your hazard lights auto start stop audible parking sensors you've got your descent control as well and your second heated seat and moving down here you've got your air con which is of course dual zone so that means i can turn it right down for the passenger and keep them nice and cool and i can turn the drivers right the way up and keep them bubbling ready if you don't want dual zone you click that button and it automatically syncs to the driver's temperature now what you can do is change the temperature using these dials here you can put auto air con on if you really want to but we're not going to do it just yet You've got your front and your rear windscreen. You've also got the air distribution of how quickly it's blown into the cabin. And you've got the options here of where it is blown in to. If you take that off, you can see you can put it on your windscreen and the passenger and person as well. You've got recirculation. You've got air con, which you can turn on or off. And you've also here got your off button, rest and dial as well. Under here, you do have an ashtray, but of course you wouldn't smoke in one of our cars, would you? No, I didn't think so. And you've also got your 12 volt charger just under there. And moving under that, you click that up and you've got further storage. Luckily enough, just handy to fit in a phone, wallet, purse, or even our very own paddy emoji for when you pick your car up from us. And down here you have of course got your iDrive as BMW say, sorry Mercedes fans, or your media control which of course controls the screen just up here. Mirrors up and down, side to side, rotate it and you can click down as well to select. You can see you've got your first bit of ambient lighting just in the cup holder there and you have of course got your sliding leather with red stitching on the armrest as well just here. Pull that back, lift that up and you've got two usb ports as well so that really is everything i can show you on the inside of this gla aside from the main main feature which is of course the sliding electronic panoramic roof and sun blind so to shut it which we're going to do now press that down and that will of course shut the roof for you and lock it into place it'll also push that back to start with and if you want the blind you just press that once and that will block out any of the natural air that comes in and it is quite effective considering it's only a very light fabric that is perforated it does block out a lot of the air and really does make a drastic difference inside the cabin in terms of lighting but if you want to open it all you have to do this button just here press it back once that opens the sun blind and then if you want your roof open as well Click that back once and that will tilt it forward and that will open that as well. You'll know when it's opening because obviously you'll hear it, you'll see it and your wind visor will pop up too. But you can also move your sunblind back and then you have your full roof just there. It opens about a quarter of the way but you've got the fixed glass in the back as well. So if you do shut that and you've got kids, believe me, it's a great feature to have 
because the kids love a panoramic roof. So now that's been covered, that really is everything, guys, that I can show you on this wicked, wicked mountain grain metallic GLA. What I will say, though, is remember that every car here at Emerald is treated to the 128-point check prior to retailing. Those checks, of course, do mean that we carry out a full appraisal on it, both mechanically and cosmetically, at our on-site RAC-approved facility by our vastly experienced technicians. We do service every vehicle here with an oil and filter change as soon as it lands, which just means there's no miscommunication or confusion on products that have been used or any cross-contamination. We also put an MOT on anything that's got less than six months, meaning total reassurance for you as a buyer. We also welcome part exchanges and are more than happy to offer you a vast array of market leading finance options. So do please, if you have any questions, give ourselves a call here at Emerald House of Cars and we'll be more than happy to assist. For me, it's a big thank you for watching the video and we really do hope to see you at HQ very soon. So guys, here we are in the GLA, just doing a quick virtual test drive. What we want to achieve with this is, we want to educate you a little bit more, we want to give you a real first person perspective of what it's like to drive this car. Now, we're going to go through all the different options with you, the drive select, we're going to use the different types of gear changes, we're going to go around the island full right lock, full left lock just so you can see that there's no wheel wobble, no judder, no problems at all. We're also going to do some braking under pressure and we're going to let go of the wheel at speed so you can see that there's no concern for tracking. Pretty thorough, eh? That's what we do at Emerald. But firstly, we are obviously going to talk about the cabin. So I'm sat in here now on a strong 510 non-tinder height and it really is a nice place to be. It's luxurious, it's spacious a lot more space than what you'd imagine as well from the outside they they do look a little bit small but in this it really isn't i mean i've got enough leg room and my chair's not even all the way back i've also got a lot of leg room remaining in the back and i can see from the passenger if i put that leg extender down there's even more room there too so we're coming up now just to hitting 30 miles an hour i can't do the stop but what i can do as soon as we get onto a nice little straight road just here what i'll do now if i take my hands off the wheel you can see that the car drives lovely and nice and straight and true and there's absolutely no worry or concern about tracking or wheel wobble. Speaking of tracking and wheel wobble, you would obviously also see it and hear it when you go around on a full lock. So what we'll do now, we'll just swing it into the right hand island and we'll go all the way around a couple of times. You can see real nice tight steering, real taut, smooth, sharp lines not flailing all the way around it's just really nice and responsive as soon as you come off straight back where it is fantastic we'll just get up to speed so we're at 40 miles an hour now and if we stop quite sharply you can see there's no delay there's no hesitation there's no wobble there's no judder again we're at 24 now and if we put it down you can really really stop on a pinhead there i'll put my head back for dramatic effect just to make sure I don't get thrown through the front windscreen. But overall, the car really, really is one of those cars that you, you just want to drive. You, it's nice, it's comfortable, it's got all the features. Like I say, you've got your heated seating, you've got your nav, which is of course the Garmin sat nav, you've got your nice instrument cluster display. It's just a really, really well put together car and again, Mercedes-Benz don't make bad cars and this is just the latest in a long line that really does feel absolutely immense. You've got all your luxurious settings, you've got everything that you'd need. It really is a car that's great for anything. Now speaking of being great for anything, what you do also know is that it's four-wheel drive, which is of course formatic. So in these somewhat greasy conditions, a lot of the cars these days without four-wheel drive would be spinning up, they'd be struggling for grip, but this, you can see the steering is super, super tight, super, super responsive. There's just no worrying about traction, stability, grip, or anything of that nature. Wherever you put this car is where it's staying. And obviously in the bad weather, such as like the greasy situations now, whether you have the snow, the ice, with formatic, it should, can't promise, obviously subject to T's and C's and the way you're driving and tyre condition and all that, but it should be able to get you out of trouble whenever you need it.
know what we'll do here, once this person's remembered how to use their indicators like us, is we'll go through all the different driving options. So you've got your dynamic select button here. If you click on there, you can of course see you've got eco, you've got off-road, you've got comfort, you've got sport, which you can instantly hear. Did you, you can instantly hear that then. I don't know if you did on the camera, but what you can hear is your rev ratio straight away increases, telling you that it's ready to go. It wants you to drive it a little bit harder and it's ready to be even more responsive. So you get an upgraded throttle response, you get an upgraded rev ratio, you get tighter steering. It's just a nicer car to drive and now it feels totally, totally different to the car I was driving just a minute ago. But it's not all about sport in this. But while we're on the subject, one of the best things to do in this car and the best way to drive it, and honestly, probably one of the easiest as well, is using this paddle shift. Now, I can jump in and out of that at any time. And you'll know when you're in it, because on your instrument cluster in the digital display, you'll not only have the shift indicator, but you'll also have the option there where it tells you M3 or M2. Now you can hear, I've got total control there, so that's high in the revs. If I drop it down, I'm in two, I'm back in first. So I can change gears as and when I please in this car. Now for me, if you like performance driving, both hands on the wheel, foot down, change your gear. Really, really nice feeling. Gives you that almost feel of total control, which is strange being an automatic car. But it just allows you to really be in control of every time a gear shift changes and when it does. And that's a great feeling. I also think from a safety point of view, it's one of the better options for the fact that you've got both hands on the wheel. You're only concentrating what's in front of you. And any person that drives a car will know when you hear a certain noise, you don't need to see that you need to change gear. It's evident from the sound of where you are in the revs. But this for me is by far the easiest way. But if you do use your paddle shift as I am now and you get bored of it, right stalk, click it back down and that'll change it back into drive and back into automatic mode. You're then free of course to just drive with your hands back on the wheel. But other than that, I mean this really really is again a real simple car to drive. It's really comfy. The engine is quite loud in terms of being a diesel engine but it depends of what you're comparing it to. I mean, the Mercedes-Benz diesel engines are genuinely quite a bit louder than most of the competitors, but make no mistake, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with them. It doesn't mean that there's anything that needs addressing. It's just the nature of how they manufacture them. But this one drives really solid and really true. Now, what we're going to do in here, we're just going to head into this car park here. We're probably going to look like an Asbo. And we're just going to get some left lock on here, just so you can see that there's no wheel wobble, exactly the same as when we did the right lock earlier on. The steering wheel as well, it sounds a bit random and a bit daft, but it's really, really comfortable. It feels thick and bulky and you don't feel flimsy. It feels like you really, really know what you're doing and you are in total control of this car. And that's something that's really reassuring on most of the modern day cars. So what we'll do here, you'll see we'll get a full left lock on now, and it's full left lock now, and that steering is nice and tall, there's no sliding, there's no skidding, that four wheel drive is getting all the traction. Really, really easy car to drive. Now what we'll also do is we'll just park it up, so you can see when we're here now, you look down, and you can see as soon as you flick it up your reverse camera comes on you've got your guidance obviously keep an eye around everything else as well your mirrors and your door mirrors but you can see you can easily park up a presto that easy and now we're off again on the open road so let's just do a quick check we've done the paddle shift we've done the driving modes we've done the reversing we've done full left lock we've done full right lock and we've also shown you that there's no wheel wobble under braking under pressure and there's no concern about tracking or wheel wobble when at speed. So I think that ticks pretty much every single box that you'd like. So for me, it's a very big thank you for watching and we can't wait to speak and meet you soon. Thank you very much. See you next time.